Hi there, my name is Anna Block and I'm starting a series of advanced lessons about CSS. Let's call these videos, for example, Magic of CSS. This security describes what I'm going to talk about in the videos. Today I will talk about how to create a non-standard text wrapping. You will learn about some CSS properties that I'm sure you rarely use at work. If you already know a lot of CSS, then you can solve these problems. For example, how to make text wrap around a rectangular image. That's right, here you need to use the property float. Second task for you, how to arrange the text in three columns. Of course, here you can use Flexbox or Grid CSS. And the third task, how to set the text in three columns so that its column smoothly passes into a new column. Maybe you find it difficult to give an answer. But I will tell you, here you can use several properties such as column width, column count and column rule. I think you will agree with me that these are not the most interesting examples. Therefore, I want to talk about difficult situations that may arise when creating websites. In this video we will look at three non-standard tasks. And if you're interested, keep watching. First task. On the screen you've seen an example. Let's create a non-standard solution for a non-standard task. This example is non-standard in that we create a shape that has a shape that doesn't not resemble a square and a rectangle. This is what we are used to. Of course, save the picture as PNG is wrong description. This is due to the fact that such a picture with a read as a figure with angles of 90 degrees. The text does not adjust to the visible part of the image. We will seek further for a solution. Ok, write HTML using CodePen. First create a generic div and call it container. Inside we add an empty div with the class shaped and div with the class content where our text will be. Then I will be set the text slotter Ipsum in this text. Video speed up four times, because the text can be anything. After that go to CSS. Let's start with the sterilization of the container by specifying the height and width properties. Next let's start sterilizing the shaped class, set the background property and add a color value and a page link. Ok, write black and write URL, copy link paste link and write center, top and write now repeat. Set the value for the property height and width but we will use a different value, for example 40VW. Stretch the image around the container. Now use the property that everyone knows. It's flat. Next we will work with three properties that you probably have rarely worked with. These are shaped outside, shape margin and clip path. We have to create a SVG using CSS. For this we need to create a polygon. We can create it using the polygon property. Set the coordinates of points for segments in order to draw this polygon. First point 0 and 0, then we write 100% and 0, its second point and then we write 100 and 100%, then we write 30% and 100%. Ok, indent using the shape merging property. And last, we use the clip path property. Inside it, we will write the same values of polygon which were prescribed earlier. Copy and paste these values. Good, we solved the first problem. Go to the next situation. Second task, let's make it so that our text is wrapped around a round image. In this example we place the image in HTML using the img tag with the class circle and editing the attribute source after we add the text to the tag p. This could be any text, for example Larry Ipsum. Now go to CSS. Let's start to sterilize the class circle. Align the image to the left. We write float with left value. Draw circle using the shape outside property. We write circle with 50%. Let's reduce the size of the image. 
we will write with 400 px and 8 also 400 px. With CSS you can make it clear from which point to count down 50%. For example, write at and the point 0 and 0. Now we see that the starting point is in the upper left corner of the screen. It's amused that half the circle is here. The text also moves. Let's set the opacity value for clarity. We write opacity and 0 0.5. After that we remove this value. Ok, if you understand how to create a flow around text for simple geometric shapes, such as polygon, line, circle, etc., then in the future you will be able to create something more complex. Here you can see a polygon consisting of many points. This is a complex fissure that was appropriately set from a graphics program, for example, Adobe Illustrator. Good, go ahead. Third task. Now let's talk about how to do this example. The essence of this example is that the text fills the space of fissure that is displayed here. In this case, it's a circle. First, create an SVG image using HTML tags. The first tag is SVG, and inside we will write the attributes view box with the value 0, 0, 100 and 100. Next, inside the tag SVG, write the tag circle with the attributes radius and coordinates CX and CY, which have a value of 50. Inside this tag we write two empty div tags with the shape left and shape right classes which will have one common shape class. Also add the third tag, div with the class text, inside where we use the tag h1 and p. Here you can add any text. This is just an example. Create a foreign object tag with the attributes it with the value text and add another two attributes with and height with the value 100. Go to the block CSS. Write margin auto. Reach 50%. 8 max height 100%. Then we write body. 8 height 100 VH. Margin 0. Remove injured everywhere. Add display flex and also background image with light gray color. Now let's work with the cycle tag. Write fill red. And work with shape left class. Add float left. Copy and use the same value for shape right. Change left to right and remove spaces. Next, from the open access, I will take the image and apply it here. Write shape outside URL and paste the link. Almost the same applies to the shape right class, but change the image link. It's mirrored relative to shape right. Then add h1 and p stylized. We will not analyze them in detail. Everything is simple here. You can pause the video to view them. Next, add stylus for the shape class. Shape height 100% with 50 pixels. And shape margin, for example, 3 pixels. Left just a little bit. Then add stylus for the text class. Right color white, font size for example 4 pixels, width 100 pixels and height 100%. Text align center, line height for example 1.6. Next, add a property this is used to align the text relative to the block in which is located. Let's reduce the size of the text in h1 and add text align center. On the screen you've seen the method by which we are able to set the text inside the circle that wraps around it. What have we done? We create a shape, in our case it's a circle, using HTML text. Then, using the shape outside property, we created a bounding line that didn't allow our text to crawl all over the site. So, this is what the first lesson is the magic of CSS. Today we talked about how to create text wrapping around non-standard geometric shapes.
If you after viewing you have any questions or you didn't know how to solve the problem on the site related of front-end development, then visit website frontendhelp.me. Experienced front-end developers will answer all questions in real time. We will be sure that your question is answered within 30 minutes. It's the end of my video. I hope you like it. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.